Hi there everyone. Now at the time of recording, Queen Elizabeth II has just become the longest reigning monarch on the British throne. This is very exciting. Now here at the Royal Society, the current monarch is always the patron of the society. The first patron when the society first started, way back when, was Charles II. What year was that? 1660. 1660. This is the charter book of the Royal Society. And not only is it signed by all the fellows and all the scientists and all the people who get elected, but all these royal patrons sign it too. And I'm wondering how many of the monarchs since Charles II have signed the book. Let's find out. Rupert, you've been dropped in it a bit here because <laughs> Keith and I were chatting about it and you were looking over our shoulder helping out and we had no idea and you knew a lot more about British royalty than us and then eventually Keith just said, Rupert, you're going to have to do this video. So you've been roped in unprepared. That's fine. Thrown in the deep end. Keith will be back next week. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Depends how well you do. Okay, let's have a go. Then. <laughs> let's do this. Now the charter book starts off with all this boring charter stuff. We're going to skip past this, aren't we? Here's the first royal page. And before, I can't help noticing, it's been signed by Rupert. That's not you, is it? Yeah, I signed that yesterday. <laughs> I just thought my name should be in there somewhere. <laughs> this is actually Prince Rupert. Prince Rupert of the Rhine, yes. Prince Rupert of the Rhine. But we don't care about him. No. Charles R. That's Charles II, first patron. He's off the list. We got him. Charles II. So you can cross another one off your list from this page. That is the Duke of York, who later became King James II. So on our first page, we've got two monarchs down. That's a good start, Rupert. Shall we crack on to the next royal page? By the way, here start all the signatures, don't they? Yep, that's all the these famous, famous opening page of the charter book. We're not here to talk about famous scientists, but if we were, we'd be doing really well. We've got all our Isaac Newton and all these people in the book. Fabulous. But let's get to the next royal page. Here it is. Yeah, we've missed a couple. We've missed William and Mary and Queen Anne, but here yeah. we get on to the Georges. Well, hang on a second. Let's just have a moment's silence for our forgotten ones. Mary the second, William the third, and Anne. Yeah, just... William and Mary come as a pair. They're not in there. And then Queen Anne after that, she's missing as well. Do we just say wouldn't have come to the society? Or... I guess not, yeah. I'll cross them off the list, but not in a good way. So what's going on on this page, Rupert? I see a mass of Georges. It gets a bit confusing. Who have we got here? You've got King George the first, King George the second, and King George III, they are the ones with patron against their name. So for people who don't understand, they put George R, R for Rex, meaning their king. And the reason we have all these multiple Georges is sometimes they sign as a prince and then they sign as a king. But there we go. Three of our Georges on one page. Nice one, Rupert. I'm happy with that. There's three Georges off the list. Let's go to the next royal page. Here we go. Another royal page, another George. George IV. Got him. Prince Regent became King George IV. And there's Keith walking in with the mace, because that's how we roll here at the Royal Society. Who's next? Oh, that's a, a rather beautiful page for King William IV. That's nice. No mess, bit of grandeur. Mm -hmm. Got him. What have we got here? There we go. This is the previous record holder. This for... is the second longest serving monarch in British history, Queen yeah. Victoria. And of course, Albert, joining her on the same page. Albert. I mean, Rupert, we're joking around here and just flying through this and crossing people off a list, but like. Queen Victoria signed that, and we're, we're standing here looking at it and touching it. This is, this is amazing. And there's someone else on this page you want to talk about. Go on. Yes, briefly, uh, the only royal president of the Royal Society, Frederick Augustus, Duke of Sussex. So the Royal Society was especially royal. We were really royal. In <laughs> it was really royal. Period, yes. Royal squared. So to give you some idea of just how long Queen Victoria was on the throne, look at all of these people being elected to the Royal Society under her patronage. But eventually, we got some some new blood on the throne. We did in 1901, that's King Edward VII. Edward VII, off the list. History marches on, Rupert. History marches on to King George V. These George signatures, they all do look very similar to each other. <laughs> There's a royal style, I think. Who's our next monarch? This is not a George, this is Edward VIII, 1936 to 1936. 1936 to 1936, you might want to explain that to a non-students of history. Yes, he abdicated. Basically came in, signed the book and said, job done, I'm off to France. Basically. All right. <laughs> but next man on the throne has signed the same page right underneath. What's going on here? That's King George VI. George VI. So basically when Edward stepped down, his brother came in and signed the book underneath. He did. So it was quite a while ago now, but George VI did die. His daughter became Queen Elizabeth II. Mm -hmm. She became the new patron and has been the patron now for quite some time. 
here's her royal page. Our current monarch, Queen Elizabeth II, and we also have the future monarchs on this page. Who have we got? We've got Prince Charles there and Prince William. Fellows of the Royal Society and perhaps one day will become monarchs, but not too soon, we hope, of course. So of the 16 monarchs in the history of the Royal Society, we've got 13 of them in the book, plus two future monarchs. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. Not bad. 13 and out of 16. Shame about those three men haven't got, but... When one of our fellows invents a time machine, we'll go back and snap them up. I like your thinking. Both Alan Turing and Stephen Hawking are fellows of the Royal Society. Yeah. So they signed this book. That means their autographs are in this book, along with Isaac Newton and Boyle and anyone else who's anyone. Anybody you can think of, pretty much, yeah. is in this volume. Okay, so Keith's going to open it up and we're going to track down these autographs. We're going through time here, mm -hmm. through the annals of science. Rutherford? <laughs> just yeah. Ernest Rutherford just skipping past. Yeah, I forget about it. It is a bit of a time machine. It's yeah. 